Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. We uh, escaped the city today to come um, about 45 minutes to an hour up north from Montreal in the Laurentians to chase some snow because we haven't been able to finish like our two biggest contracts of the year um, because we needed snow for them and we just decided to take a chance. They were forecasting a little bit of snow for the Laurentians today and it delivered. So let me show you a bit uh, where we are and how nice and beautiful it is. You excited? Woo! It's snowing quite a bit more than we expected. Uh, so we know there's a little spot with some nice um, pine trees about five minutes that way. So we're gonna go walk there and uh, hopefully my feet don't freeze off. We found our spot. The last time we were here was uh, last winter. I think it was like in February or March. We came snowshoeing and there were about like three or four feet of snow because it was the end of the winter. So snow had really piled up. I'll insert like a few photos here of what it looked like. It's still really beautiful, but I thought I would be able to do a snow angel here. And I wanted Sam to get a drone photo of that. But as you can see, there's plenty of like little shrubs, little branches everywhere because the snow's not high enough. So that's not gonna work, but we're gonna try something else. Let me show you the little passage here. Uh, a lot of people here fat biking because it's such a beautiful day. It's like maybe minus three or four degrees and it's snowing, so it's really gorgeous. So I'm gonna try to not get hit by a fat biker, but let me show you what it looks like. We're just walking back to the car now and both kind of dying for hot chocolate and you know like warm fire something like that we're about five minutes away from Sam's parents house but because of he who shall not be named we can't actually go to their house which kind of sucks because warm fire you know hot chocolate all of that but we're just gonna go warm up in the car and see if we hit up like another spot to take some more photos or not we'll see we just got back to the city at the house are we gonna go have a coffee yet? Yeah, we're gonna go have a coffee and some food because I am starving. Okay. This is like my first ever Christmas tree because we have been traveling for the past three Christmases and the years before that, I lived at my parents' house. So I never had like my own Christmas tree or our own Christmas tree, I should say. Although Sam didn't do anything. Um, so this is my first Christmas tree. So since we were just five minutes away from Sam's parents' house, like I said before, we stopped by to just get their snowshoes because we wanted to borrow them so that we can go on a little snowshoeing adventure this week, hopefully, because we don't have any snowshoes. Um, so we'll return those to them like in a few weeks. And while we were there, they also gave us some goodies. <laughs> um, this is the Christmas basket. And so, so since we won't be spending Christmas with them because of, uh, um, you know, we don't need to say why. Sam's mom prepared us a basket of And goodies. while we were gone, my sister also came to drop off some cookies, which I will open now so that I can have some with my coffee that I've almost already finished. So let's go see what's inside. Let's see if my sister has the same talent as my mom for Christmas cookies, because my mom is officially the Christmas queen, cookie queen of the Christmas cookie. So it's a see. heavy box though. Those are big shoes to fill, Lara. Ooh, what's that? That looks amazing. I don't know, but they look good. What's underneath? Ooh, gingerbread. Oh bread. my god, there's so much. Oh, there's so many. They're so cute. Right, what's underneath this? Oh, the gingerbread. Wow, they're really nice. There's a lot of cookies in. Oh, chocolate. Oh, yum. Oh, those look really big. Oh, those <gasps> look yum. They've got like peppermint okay, inside. Okay, have one. Mmm. Yeah. Peppermint chocolate. That's a winner. Can I go wrong with that? Mmm. 
Yum. And Sam's mom also gave us a box. A box. How so, cute is this box? This is also a box of cookies. We are up north again for the second day in a row. We're in the Mont Tremblant region and we turned off a little side road. Yeah. Uh, we were trying to find a uh, very snowy winter wonderland and I think we found it. Yeah, so I just flew the drone. Um, I just flew the drone to try to get the, our last pictures for our last contract that we didn't finish completely yesterday. So we figured we wouldn't take any chances and before the snow melts again. Because um, the problem we've been having is that the snow, we kind of get like five centimeters of snow and then the next day it's like plus three, plus four degrees Celsius. So it all melts the next day. So since we were scared of that happening again um, and we really want to get this contract finished uh, so we can get paid. Um, we came up to Mont Tremblant, which is about two, or two hours from Montreal. Um, so now we're going to go into the national park so we can maybe go take a walk because it's actually really not it's so, so cold nice. today. It's, like it's about zero. Yeah. So uh, we're going to go take a walk and um, go try to take some last pics. And yeah, that's it. Go for it. Why? But yeah, this road was pretty, pretty nice. In the past, we uh, have been known to uh, drive long distances, take photos, and then drive home without checking if the photos were okay. So today, I made sure to bring my computer with me and um, and my memory cards uh, and my adapters and everything, just to make sure that the photos I took with the drone are in focus because when you take photos with a drone it's not like a camera and your your phone doesn't show you a preview of the photo um, after you've taken it so there's really no way of knowing if the photos are in focus or not which uh, means that if you don't have your computer with you and you drive really far to a specific place to go shoot with the drone um, it's a very good idea to bring your computer with you so that's what I'm doing now I'm just taking all all my shit uh, all my stuff to uh, to check here. I've got my laptop. I'm gonna plug in the memory card here, and we're gonna see if the photos and videos I took before at that little snowy road um, are good enough. And if they are, well, nice. We'll just be able to take a little walk and appreciate the nice park. Um, We've got our snowshoes with us, but I don't think there's enough snow to warrant putting them on, so we'll probably just go for a walk and then uh, head back head back home, maybe stop for a little lunch on the way back. Um, and yeah, so that's gonna be it. I'm gonna check these out now and see how they turned out. really love doing stuff on weekdays because <laughs> there's just no one so this week is technically like Christmas holidays for a lot of people but it's Monday and there are very few people here like the, and most of the people that are here are don't do it most of the people that are here are cross-country skiing and we don't have any cross-country skis yet so we're just walking but we're happy to be walking because there's no one here nature park. Today is officially the start of winter and the shortest day of the year. Beautiful. This spot is super cute so we're gonna try to take some photos of both of us together. We used to do that almost every day and now we've transitioned out of the couple pics and into the beige life uh, blogger girl cute pics 
Um, so we're just gonna set up the tripod and try to take a cute little couple pic in this passage. Let's see what it looks like. We made it to a little viewpoint on the river and we were hoping that the river wouldn't be frozen but it is that's okay because it's still really pretty ships are really expensive at the gas station how much really? you don't want to know just just savor them okay like ten dollars yeah ten dollars can you imagine if i paid ten dollars I would have been shook. Not ten dollars, but like almost. We forgot to end the vlog yesterday, but we are back home. It's the next day, and we are making Christmas cookies. So we are gonna sign off now, and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and maybe leave us a little comment and tell us your favorite outdoor activity. All right, see you. I'm gonna enjoy this coffee now.